All right, hey there, everybody. Um, a beautiful Wednesday, October the 4th afternoon. Let's jump in and play some uh, Master Duel, shall we? Kind of frustrated. Made uh, Had to shoot this for a second time. Accidentally deleted the last recording. I was only able to get one win. Some pretty frustrating duels there. But let's uh, take a quick look at uh, what we're working at with today. A few adjustments over yesterday's deck. We took out the MST and Dark Hole, so we just have two Trap Tantalizing Tunes and two Trap Trip Gardens. We also doubled several Trap Holes. We have two Floodgates, two um, Trap Trip Trap Hole Nightmares, and two Mirror Forces. And we added an extra Evenly Matched. We also took out one Kaiju. We still have the three Parallel Seeds. So again, a really good combo getting out the Sarah and then going into a Rafflesia or a Pingukula. So I'm hoping to have more consistency here. We have some pretty good trap lineups, and um, we'll see if we can steal some wins. Uh, again, in the last video I did just an hour ago, we went one and three. So uh, let's see if we can uh, do a lot better here and maybe even rank up. So um, yeah, pretty frustrating. And then a rage quitting there uh, at the end would have been some good content, but we get to go first in our first duel. Very, very important for this deck. Um, again, we lost quite a few coin tosses there, but um, what can you do? So this guy's running a 60 card deck. Hopefully he's not using uh, the grass is greener or anything like that. Um, really cool Dogmatica map. Um, let's see what we got here. So let's go ahead and pitch the Arachnicampa. We can easily bring her back with our Dianaya. And we also get a Trap Trip Garden. So I'm going to go ahead and play the Dianaya. We get our Arachnicampa, beautiful. And I'm gonna go into a Rafflesia. Lovely. There she goes. And I'm gonna set two trap holes and call it a turn. Hopefully we can, um, Again, I'm not setting that Mirror Force, because if he has a Harpy's Feather Duster or anything, then we are completely screwed. So we'll see what he opens up with. Luckily, he had no interruptions, no trap uh, hand traps. Kashtira Ogre. I'm simply going to flip that face down with our Floodgate Trap Hole. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Pays 3,000 life points, special summons that big boy. Go ahead and uh, use Reflasia's effect. We will um, bottomless it. And we will negate that. So you paid 3,000 life points. You're not going to get that 5,000 life points increase. In fact, you're going to take another 2,000. So that's going to leave him with 3,000 life points. See what else he has up his sleeve here. Unfortunately, we don't have any more traps. But I think we grinded him down pretty well here. Okay, he still has his normal summon. He's bringing out a bestial, and he's going to call it a turn. Okay, pick up a card. Excellent, we got Mermelio. Go ahead and play Mermelio. I'm going to add the Holotea. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set the Holotea, activate it, pitch the Mirror Force. Okay, next we can go into. Pingicula. Okay. We use her effect. 
to add a a mantis okay play the mantis get the arachnocampa and um, this should be game here I'm gonna go ahead and enter battle we'll attack with pingicula boom bye bye okay can we negate that with Reflasia? I guess not. But I'm still going to attack here. Come on, let me use... I guess you can... Okay, there you go. Let me use the Reflasia. Get out of here. And it uh, looks like she definitely came um, very in handy here over the Sarah. Very pivotal card. Very interesting uh, options here you have with Trap Tricks. That's a beauty... But uh, just like that, that's how you play, um, that's how you do it. That's, um, couldn't have gone smoother there. So we get a victory. Let's go for another one, shall we? So sometimes it's honestly better to go with um, Reflasia over Pingicula. Okay, we lose the coin toss there. We are going second. I was hoping to get a little streak there going first, but oh well. Uh, we had a really good duel there going first, so we'll see what he has to offer here in our second duel. here red eyes you know it's interesting you don't really see red eyes dark dragoon i don't even know if he's in this game but um red eyes is not very good so i think we have a pretty good shot at um beating this guy but you never know go ahead and open up with a pretty solid hand here always nice to see parallel exceed and a trap trip garden so let's go with our mermelio okay Turn of the red eyes. Okay, he's gonna bring back another uh, another red eyes black dragon. It's neat how they added the support for these uh, older boss monsters, but uh, they just we don't cut it. I'm gonna go with um, Holotea. Let's go with Trap Trip Garden. Uh, I'm gonna link. That's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna link the Mermelio into um, Sarah. And that's what sucks about the Red Eyes. He doesn't even have 2,500 attack. I mean, that's kind of crazy. 2,400 attack. That is one weakness with this Trap Tricks Sarahs because you don't have a lot of attack power unless you get Adipus on the board. You can get Pingicula to 3,500, which is pretty good. Uh, but that um, that can take some time to set up here. So, uh, we'll see here if the Parallel Exceed will fire off. It should. Yeah, it should. There you go. Boom, there goes the Parallel Exceed. Okay. Uh, next, we will go into um, Reflasia, get a defensive monster out on the board, because we can simply go into another um, Xyz monster. It's going to be our um, Pingukula. Use Padika, we'll get our Trap Trip Garden. Lovely. It's going to fire off Sarah. Um, 
uh, with Sarah, I'm simply going to add a floodgate to the field. There you go. Okay. And next we'll go ahead and set Holatea. We'll activate it uh, by pitching the Gravedigger. So we do have the Rafflesia, luckily. One effect monster your opponent controls. What's it going to be? Is it going to be the Sarah or the Rafflesia? Sadly, the Rafflesia is gone. But um, at least we have the Holitea. And she did another pop here for Sarah. And he surrenders. Yep, red eyes not very good there. Um, so another victory. So despite the frustrations in my last video, before this we seem to be stringing up some success, which is uh, pretty good. We still need two more wins to get to the next tier. Let's go for one more duel in this video. Um, yeah, overall... Pretty good hands. You should have seen it in the previous video, though. Just absolutely crazy. We we won. We won the coin toss one duel out of the four, and even on that win, we opened up with two evenly matches. I mean, we had some very very frustrating hands, but so far, we've had uh, all the luck here. So let's see here. All monster cards, um, but we have the Padika. So that's good. See if he uses Ash Blossom. If he does, oh well. Oh, he uses Max C. Max C. That is not the card we wanted to see, especially since we don't have any traps or anything like that. So that sucks. But we do have an extra normal summon. So I'm simply going to go with Trap Trip Garden, which allows me to normal summon Mermelio once again. Boom. Okay. We had Mermelio. And I am going to go with the Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. Okay, we'll set Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. Uh, do we want to go another, give him a plus to go into Rafflesia? Yes, I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to give him the plus because, well, I'm going to make sure we are protected. So hopefully this won't come and bite us in the ass. Okay. And our turn. Definitely don't want him to open up with any more than he already has. So he opens up with a standard six card hand. We have the Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. We have the Rafflesia. So we should have two um, counters to him. So it goes with the Ogre. Um, no, because we can use the Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare for him. We'll use that to go ahead and negate. You can't get a cash tier of birth or a cash tier of preparations or whatever. So it's going to negate it. Bye bye. Doesn't get the plus, so that was good. Let's see what else he'll throw at us. Cash tier of birth. Definitely need to find a way to get rid of that, which we should be able to. Special summon again, but uh, I'm not gonna let that happen. I guess we'll, at this point, we will um, use a floodgate trap hole so he can't like special summon a Fenrir or anything like that. Let's we'll go ahead and flip it face down. He can't XIZ summon. He shouldn't be able to special summon anything else on the field. So that should shut him down for the turn, hopefully. Okay, he's going to end his turn here, so now we should be able to build a pretty good board. Okay, got another Dianaya. That's great. I'm going to play Dianaya. Bring back Mermello. He's going to max C, but I love Rafflesia. 
very, very handy effect there. Negate that with Gravedigger. Okay. Pop the cashier of birth. Okay, lovely. And next we will go ahead and link summon into Sarah. Could have went with the Rafflesia, I guess, but oh well. We have the Parallel Exceed, so we'll get some serious firepower here up on the board. He may even surrender again. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> so, love to see that. Uh, three for three. Can you believe it? We won three in a row. In the last duel, we did four duels. Do we want to push our luck? I say we'll go for it. We'll go for one more duel there. See if we can get to rank four today. Will we get to go first? Big pivotal duel here. I know it's only rank five, right? Bottom of the barrel. But it still feels good to rank up and win those duels. So this deck seems to be running definitely a lot smoother than our previous build, which is great. Love to see that. All right, what do we have here? So we open up with a pretty lackluster hand, but we should be able to make something of it. Go ahead and use the Holotea to pitch the Gravedigger. Boom. And we will turn the Holotea into a Serra. Luckily, he has no Maxi or anything like that. Boom, there goes Serra. We have the Parallel Exceed. So that's going to fire off. Lovely. And that's going to allow us to go into Rafflesia. Boom. Go ahead and go into Rafflesia. And uh, hopefully he doesn't have a lightning storm or evenly match, anything like that. You always have to worry out for that. Um, but put together a pretty good board here. So let's see what he throws at us. Over the Rafflesia for protection, we got the Sarah. We got the Trap Trick Strap Hole Nightmare. Hopefully we're not playing against Pearly, but we do have quite a few options here to counter Pearly. I haven't seen Pearly so far actually this season, maybe only once. I uh, guess we'll maybe encounter it as we go up the, the ladder. It looks like this guy is using a uh, is it Divine Beast, whatever they were, Sacred Beasts. So he's going to go with this guy. Um, okay, let him do that. Excuse the dogs, looks like a neighbor let the dogs out about that time of day. Love to bark. A little pot of greed, what are you sticking your tongue out? Okay. Seems special summon this guy, the chaos summoning being. Um, but I'm gonna counter that with Rafflesia and I'm just gonna flip that face down so we can't tribute it. And that's going to pop off Sarah as well. So I'm going to be setting another Holotea for next turn. So maybe that's uh, stopped him in his tracks. And there you go. Stopped him in his tracks with a floodgate trap hole, and that propels us into rank four with trap tricks. So much more successful. I'm kind of happy that I um, remade this video. I mean, it sucks that I lost the, the footage or whatever. Got to be more careful with that, but um, at least we didn't rage quit in this one, and we actually uh, had things go our way. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this stool video. Um, I hope you can join me for the next one.